Hi everyone. I'm Milali. I'm Julia. We are going to talk to you about our paper titled "I Am Both Here and There: Power Control Multiple Robotic Abilities by Disabled Workers in a Cafe." Our research work is carried out in collaboration with staff and management of Abata Robot Cafe Don Barjon Beta, which opened in 2021 in Tokyo. The cafe features a combination of in-person staff and disabled teleworkers. The management of the cafe aims to showcase how technology can be harnessed to create inclusive employment opportunities. Customers who have who come to the cafe are assisted by a number of avatar robots called Orihime, each in charge of different operations. These avatar robots are controlled by disabled pilots with a variety of access needs who work remotely from their homes. The cafe feature have two different types of. Orihime avatar robot, which are used for different purposes. The one is small Orihime avatar robot, a placed on tables, which can be reserved by customers. The other is larger Orihime D avatar robot, which are used by pilots to carry drinks from the kitchen to customers' table. Pilots want to follow customers along their journey and experiment it with. As to find ways to expand their abilities by connecting with multiple avatars at the same time. Based on the ideas and input, we developed a new parallel control system, and that allows pilots to embody up to four avatars at once, as we as we switching between them as they managed customers' journeys. Over a period. Of four months, we worked together with six cafe pilots to refine and test the system, ensure that all pilots received training and practice to manage parallel operation with customers. The system was successfully deployed with six pilots and twenty-four customers. I will now show you a video document, some of the interaction with occur between customers, pilots, and their multiple avatars. I think there's a robot waving its hand over there now. So please move to that robot. I will be waiting for you at the table. Please move over there. Hearing the same voice from before made me feel at ease. You're speaking and moving simultaneously. Masa-san, you're in two places at once. It's like you've really duplicated yourself. I'm here too. By analyzing data from our customer questionnaires, pilots' interviews, and video footage of the event, we identified three themes. The first theme highlights the presence of different types of interactions occurring between customers and pilots. But also amongst pilots themselves, one-to-one -one interactions where pilots and customers communicated through a single intermediary avatar occurred at multiple stages, including when customers entered the cafe and were greeted by pilots controlling the entrance orihime, or during more prolonged conversations that took place at the table. Short parallel interactions took place when pilots gave verbal cues to customers through one avatar robot, while attracting their attention to another avatar robot using one of the simplified motions available. Other parallel interactions were more prolonged as pilots were entertaining the customers through the table Orihime, as they were also serving drinks through the serving Orihime D. 
Finally, indirect hidden interactions occurred amongst pilots as they negotiated control of the entrance and manager orihimes, as well as the large orihime Ds that needed to be shared amongst them. A second theme highlighted some of the challenges faced by pilots as they manage customer operations using the parallel control. Some of these challenges were expected, such as the increased cognitive load that is associated with multitasking through different avatar bodies. Other challenges were unexpected, such as the ones summarized in the quotes from one of the pilots. The most difficult part was when someone waved hello to me while I was carrying drinks with Orihime D. But I couldn't talk because I was having a conversation in another Orihime at the same time. I can't stop the conversation unless I say, excuse me, and cut out the conversation, but the other customer doesn't know that. My heart cried out, sorry, wait. This shows that managing parallel interactions was further complicated by the need to communicate with customers, the idea that pilots' avatars were in multiple places at once, which could require shifts in their attention at unexpected times. The final team illustrated how pilots were able to leverage the parallel control system not solely to increase their agency in managing customers' operations, but also to create opportunities for surprise and playful engagements that were aimed at entertaining customers. The dialogue shown in the picture depicts how one of the pilots who is controlling a small Orihime on the table and a larger Orihime D purposefully recreated a playful dialogue between the two avatars by performing alternated gestures and switching the microphone to mimic conversation where one avatar thanks the other for delivering drinks and the other avatar asks about the enjoyment of talking to customers. Based on our findings, we extracted a series of implications for the design of future systems that enable people to embody multiple avatars in a parallel fashion the first one highlights the need to consider how we can develop avatars that support a strong sense of embodiment, but without creating long-lasting links between one user and one particular avatar. This is especially important for systems deployed in settings where one avatar might be used by different individuals at different times. The second implication refers to the need to consider how avatar systems can allow individuals to extend their capabilities and sense of agency as much as possible, while balancing the related increased cognitive load that inevitably comes with these forms of multitasking. Thirdly, based on our observation, we hypothesize that through the everyday use of digital assistive technologies, disabled individuals possess specific competencies such as remote spatial awareness and expertise in technology-mediated communication that might make them more proficient users of parallel avatar systems. Finally, we highlight the need to consider how the contextual environment might affect the development and deployment of parallel avatar systems, both in relation to their technological robustness and their social acceptability. Thank you so much for your attention. We hope that you take the time to read the paper and please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any question or comment.